Okay, so I'm just going to stitch on our design. So our nice little shamrock design here. And we're going to put three stitches up the stem, so it's quite nice and simple. There's not too much uh, stitching to be done on this one. So we're going to do one, two, and now we're on our third stitch up the centre there. So there's our third stitch. And then instead of stitching all the way around each one of these shapes, we're just literally going to put a little V marker at the bottom so that you know where it's going to be because we're not actually um, stitching these on um, as such we're actually putting pieces of leather there so you don't need to go all the way around because your area is going to depict be depicted by the leather and obviously all this shape here is going to be cut out of leather so therefore there's no need for us to actually stitch all the way around if it was a more complicated shape, then you might have to, but this is a very, very simple one. So it's literally just one more little V at the bottom of this leaf. And then we will have completed the design on the fabric for our shamrock. So make sure you just finish that thread off. So I'm just gonna do a little double stitch there because what you don't want is for that to pop back out once you're taking it off. So all we need to do now is we just need to run our needle along those lines like that. Now it gets a little bit harder just here because you've got three lines all in very close proximity. So just like that. And then we've got one, two, and that's it, that's left. So just take the pins out and then it should just be a matter of pulling it off just like that. And there's our design on the surface. Now you might need to give it a little bit of a tickle. So you've got this area here, which is one petal, another, another uh, leaf, sorry, and another leaf. And those are our areas that we will be putting them in. So I'll just trim that off at the back. And that's our design on the surface. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually cut our leather out. So we'll do that next. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our leaves out of our leather. So this is the leather that we're using. This is a really nice vibrant leather and we're going to cut each one of these out. Now you can do that in two ways. You can cut it straight out onto your leather or if you don't want to damage any of your scissors you can just cut each one of those shapes out first with a pair of paper scissors and then once you've used the paper scissors you can then cut out your shape in your leather so we'll do this first one and then i'll show you what i mean by that okay so we're just going to come around there like that And we've got our little shape and it's quite convenient using the the tracing paper that you've just done your tacking with because there's no wastage then so this is the right way up make sure you get it the right way up what you might want to do is you might want to write a little r on the surface of each one of those leaves and then you're just going to take that shape and you're going to take your very sharp scissors because you need to make sure that you're using a pair of scissors where it isn't going to chew it's actually going to nicely cut that leather. Okay, so we've got our first cut. Try and do long cuts in your leather because the longer the cut, the less likely it is for you to get jagged edges. Okay, obviously just there, you need to just go into that V. So you do need to do a slightly shorter one. And then we're just going to come around there and I'm just going to trim that off and get rid of the excess of the leather. So we'll just take that and we'll turn that around. Make sure that the tracing paper is lined up and then just try and get one nice cut there. Okay, and that's our little piece of leather that we're going to stitch on. 
So this is our area. This is our shape. So we know that that piece is going to be coming here. So that's where it is. And that's our little area that we've already tacked on and we know that it's going. So you need to make sure that you get your leather needle and then you can carry on stitching. So we're just going to come up right on that point there and we're just going to put a couple of stitches in it to attach it onto the surface so it's not going anywhere. And they don't have to be tiny, tiny stitches. So I'm just going to put a little stitch there and a little stitch just there. Okay, and that secures it in place for now. So the next thing, you can leave your needle at the back, okay? You can just um, put it at the front and stick it in your fabric. Okay, so my needle is just coming across here and I've just stuck that into the fabric so it secures it in place and it's not going anywhere, okay? Right, so let's just get rid of that little bit of tracing paper that was visible there and you want to attach all three on and then we can do the next bit of stitching.
so we've got this beautiful 371 thread and that's what we're going to be using next so you should have about 50 centimeters in your pot and then in your uh, pack and then you'll be able to just thread it up through a big needle like this this is a nice size needle this is the passing needle that we use and it just threads really really easily through the eye of that so if you take your thread it's just come off the end there a little bit but it should still thread it fairly easily through there and just take a little bit so take a couple of inches through okay so now we're just going to stitch into our leather so we're going to come up just on the point okay and we're going to stitch right into it about half way okay and you need to push down really hard because otherwise it's hard to get into that leather and gently just pull that down into our leather okay right so that's first piece and then we're just going to do the next two so we'll come up quite close to that end okay now it will make a funny scrapey noise because it has got it's the rotations around and you don't generally stitch uh, much with this thread but this is the one that's like passing thread um, and the passing thread does have a metallic content but this is just the one that's wrapped around so you're going to do your three stitches one on either side and then that just creates it, it not only attaches your piece of petal your piece of leather down really firmly but it also gives it a really nice effect so that's our three pieces so you're doing a slightly longer one in the middle and then two slightly shorter ones and it almost depicts veins as well The next thing we're going to be putting on is this stem and we're going to be using the cedar green twist for that so we're going to just plunge it down just about there okay we're going to 
going to poke it through the eye of the needle and again like the passing thread it passes through the eye really easily now make sure you've got about a centimeter at the back there and then you're going to plunge the next piece just here at the end of your tacking okay so we're just going to come through on the left hand side of that tacking and take it down through the fabric and then you need to pull down the rest of it until you've got that nice little line like that okay so then you want to come up here so you need to make sure that you attach those fully at the back and then you start with your next piece and you're just going to come slightly down like that and you're going to take your thread through the back and then bring it forward okay so you're just going to come up through the fabric just get rid of that little bit seems to have some uh, thread from the green that's just come through there so i'll just snip that off so just come through like that and this one is going to go down just here so that what it is doing is it's just making your base that little bit fatter than the top okay so we're just going to take that down like that poke it through there and take it down through the back okay so that's that okay don't worry about these too much i've not secured them in place just yet and then the last one is going to come from there down to here so we're just going to come up just there and i'm staggering slightly this base so that it forms a little bit of a a line so it's a bit of a stage line it's not straight okay so we're just going to bring that up and we're going to bring the other thread through okay so we'll just pull that up there like that okay and then we're going to take it down right next to the first one where we came up so and we'll just take that thread and we'll poke it through there and then take it down to the fabric and pull it through so at the moment we've got these loose threads now each one of those should be attached at the back you can do that before or you can do it after and then you need to take a waxed piece of the translucent thread to sew it down so you're going to start at the top okay and you're going to just come over those two threads like that now once you've put in all of these um threads you can take any tacking stitches that you can see you can take those out okay and then we're just going to come up here at the side just above where we've gone in with that middle piece of thread so you're going to come over like that nice and tightly and then it forms more of a gradual shape so you can see it just hides that very end of where you've come up there and then we're going to come now generally you wouldn't go over three you'd only go over two but these are so secured down that we could go over the three and in some ecclesiastical pieces that i've um, seen there is a stitch over three so you can do that and then i'd just do a slight variation where you're going to secure this one and go over two like that and then we're going to go over the other side and go over the one now if you've got any thread that is closer in shade you can actually use that and then you won't be able to see the stitches over it i'm using the translucent thread so there you go there is your stem just on there nice and neatly and it goes a little bit thicker and a little bit of an angle at the bottom there so the last little bit that we're going to do is we're just going to put some nice little chips in that center just there okay so to do that we're going to cut some little pieces now i'm not going to cut them really really short i'm going to do them reasonably long for the center okay and you'll see why in a minute so let's uh, i'm going to cut five 
but I may only need three or four, we'll see. Okay, it depends on how big of an area you've left here as to how many you will need. So we're going to take our needle that is our wire needle and we're just going to come up in that center like this, okay? And then we're just going to take one of our wires onto our needle we're going to make sure if you can see it there we straighten that thread up and then it allows that wire to drop now what you would normally do is you'd normally take your needle down there which is the length of the wire but we're not doing that we're going to come very very close to where that wire is and then we'll have some nice little loops okay so let's take that down and just be careful when you get to here you need to be slow and you need to just take it like that okay so we can come up just there make sure that you pull that tight and we're going to take that one on and let it drop down to the surface of the fabric sometimes you do need to help it a little bit other times it will just drop really really simply and easily and we're just going to take that down and then again when you get to that end bit just be a little bit slower and then we'll bring one up here and we'll do another little one with that one there let it drop to the fabric and then do a little stitch just about there now don't forget that you have got thick threads at the back so sometimes you may be going through those threads at the back. So just be aware of that, okay? And then we're just gonna put one more in just here, bring it up fairly close, and it just nicely tidies up that center, okay? So I think that we could get away with four, but I might put a fifth one in. Let's just see how we get on here. Okay, Okay. so we're just going to do this one now, pull this down. And then again, when we get to the end there, we're just going to be careful with that. You have got to be careful, and it is a good idea to use um, a malore or some, something like that, um, because it can sometimes catch on the end if you don't so this one here was caught a little bit I'm going to try and get that off there I might have to cut that off because it is a spiral and sometimes it goes the wrong way on the spiral and you struggle to then get it in the right way so I'm just going to get my scissors I'm just going to trim that just a little bit because it is still caught and that's that little bit that's caught there so I'm just going to take that off the thread and then we're good so I'm going to just guide that down with my needle but the traditional tool that you would use for this is the malore so again just make sure that that drops to the surface first otherwise you could get the same thing happening again so I'll just take that down just like that okay now I think I might add just a, a little one just there so I'm just going to come up over here like that okay and we're just going to add this one as our last one so that's five that I've put in the center but it depends on as I say how big of an area that you've actually um, created in that center okay so I'm just going to get my needle and just to guide that down and then it doesn't catch like the last one did so that's a perfect example of why you use particular tools and there are particular tools for the job so there we go that's our shamrock and that's our uh, little um, nod to St. Patrick's Day Thank you very much for watching.